Yo, 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 what is going on, boys, and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today, we are going to be playing with this Mega Knight deck that is so, so strong and will definitely help you get away from that or kind of do better in that kind of mid ladder area if that's something you're struggling with because. You know, we have the we have the Mega Knight in here, we have the Mini Pekka, we have the Bats. We have a lot of good combinations that work together very, very well. So if you're looking for a new deck, boys, and you're in that kind of mid-ladder range, you do like the Mega Knight, look no further. Because this deck will do you so, so well in that kind of mid-range. Um, I'm specifying the mid-range, because as you go up kind of decks like this, people know how to deal with, with Mega Knight better. But whenever you're trying to get up... Honestly, it's such a good deck. Now, I'm going to go for Megan here in a second. Once he places his Guardian, and we can get some nice value out of it. And pretty much force three Elixir out of him for free for us, because we were going to go Megan either way. So it just does us very well. Now, see, we're about to see the pure strength here, because we can go for our Mini Pekka, which has such high DPS. We have the Mega Knight as well. Obviously, Mega Knight's going to get shut down by his Mini Pekka, unfortunately. But... As a combo, they work so, so well together. And he goes in for his arrows too. I'm just going to go Skelly Barrel. Keep that pressure going. We have such high pressure cards. And the one thing this deck does very, very well is get kind of positive elixir trades. It always forces out more elixir than what you have to spend. Obviously, that's what positive elixir trades means. Um, so, yeah, it is a very, very strong in that sense. But yeah, boys, we all know kind of how some of these combos work. I don't really need to explain them. I'm sure a lot of you have come against the Mega Knight Mini Pekka combo in decks. Bats. Mega Knight Bats is like the mid ladder dream. But um, I'm sure a lot of you know these. So I, I won't waffle on about them too, too much. But yeah, I just want to point out just how strong some of these things can be, boys. So anyways, we do have our Evo Firecracker in hand here for his Evos. And I will just go in for them nice and early. Go for the Mini Pekka here on the left. And I might go for my Mega Knight here as well. I was kind of hoping to keep my... Oh, he misses the Rage on the on the Firecracker. That's huge. He does get a lot of damage up that left side. But honestly, it's not too bad. I can go in for Skeleton Barrel here. I have Mega Knight going up to the left. Which I will back up with a Firecracker. He, unfortunately, is going to get back around to that pretty quickly. So, he will do a lot of damage. Or, he will defend that. With, with relative ease. Now, we can go for our Goblin Gang here. And hopefully, that will defend that. It should. Yeah, nice. It does. It does. No need to panic just yet. But yeah, boys, today is Saturday. Well, it's Friday now, but oh, I need to play something. It will be Saturday by the time it's uploaded, and I'm going home for Christmas today, which will be so nice. Um, I'm very much looking forward to it. So, um, yeah, let me know if you guys are going home for Christmas, or if you even if you, if you celebrate Christmas. If you don't, then just enjoy your winter period. Um, you know, I. it's a nice time of year. Didn't snow this year, but, you know, that that's just the way it is. I enjoy me some snow. Let's go for the arrows here. Try and get these goblins out of the way. I was hoping I'd get a bit more damage done there, but we couldn't really. But we go Firecracker here. Nice. We should get, get some damage off. We'll just go for the mini packet just to lay in some DPS. Nice. Okay, we're doing pretty well here. Let me go in for the Skeleton Barrel on the left to keep applying some pressure. I go Bats up high. We get some good arrows value there. I go for my Goblin Gang on the left. He uses... Oh, we have to go Mini Pack here. That, I did not know where that came from. Um, please don't take my tower. Okay, we're still standing. I'm still standing. Okay, let's get it. So let me go for this plus this. Oh, that's so annoying. Yeah, that's not ideal for us. Um, okay, so let's go for the Mega Knight here. To protect everything. Then we can go Goblin Gang. I want to keep that... Firecracker alive as long as possible. We can apply some Julian pressure here. He's going to pull our Mega Knight over, so we have a lot of pressure going up the left lane right now. Okay, cool. He's going to take that out with his. Oh, oh, oh! Let's let's get this defense off, please. Come on, I put in so much, and we're going to take the left tower. He doesn't realize. We just take the win, boys. That was a good game. And yes, guys, we are back for game number two against Potato King from Bye Potato. Now, we did have a close game that first game. Um, honestly, I so nearly threw because I thought we were going to take the tower. And then I didn't play something. And I just got it down in time. So we got very, very lucky. I'm not sure what happened there. He just kind of stopped playing, placing cards. So, yeah, I'm not going to deny that that was um, 
that luck was a big factor in that win, but a win's a win, lucky or not, we, we still took the W, boys. So we take those. Now let me go for my skeleton barrel here. And then go for my arrows here too. Just to kind of get that down. Keep Make sure skeleton barrel goes to the tower. We have a firecracker as well. And firecracker will get a shot off, which is very, very nice. Now he does have zap. So our skeleton barrel is probably just going to get shut down a lot of the time. But he's going to go barbs. Now if he evo barbs next, obviously cycle. We, I'm going to hold the Mega Knight for now. I don't want him knowing we have a Mega Knight. And we can possibly shut some Evo Barbs down very, very nicely without him knowing about it. And that would be Chef's Kiss. I would love that. Let's go for the Knight in the back here. And I'll just cycle my other, my next Firecracker quite early. The sooner we can get around to that Evo Firecracker, the better. Now, I imagine he's going to go for Tombstone here. Yeah, he will. But if I go in for the Arrows, no, we don't get off in time, unfortunately. Um, I wonder, can we defend this? Now, he will just zap, obviously. So, my bats might get shut down a bit. I'll go for the knight in front, just to keep my firecracker alive. Okay, nice. So, I'm going to go for the goblin gang here. We don't have a bad matchup here. It's definitely, like, it could definitely be much worse. We have quite a few different options to defend air. The only bad thing is, a lot of the said options do just get taken out by that zap. Such a, well obviously the firecracks dead eyes, but the bats and the spear gobbies from the goblin gang both die to zap. So it's never going to be ideal, but you know what we have coming now boys. Actually I'm just going to firecracker, get the evil firecracker in. And then I will mega knight on offense, because they, they will, as much as the, the mega knight will counter them, um, they will burn the mega knight down. I really need that mega knight to cross the bridge first, which it does nicely enough. I'll go for my, my knight here. Okay, nice, nice. I'm gonna go for the early bats. Try and force out that zap as early as we can. Now I can go for my goblin gang and go for my firecracker. Left tower goes, he goes in for his balloon. I'm just gonna go for the arrows here just to cycle them around and get back to our bats. And clean defense, he doesn't even get a hit off. Really nice, he gets the balloon damage, but that's it. And yeah, we defend that really, really nicely. We're pushed up the left, or the right side as well. I'm um, not going to quite take both towers, but it's a pretty dominant win for game number two, boys. And yes, guys, we are back for the third and final game of today's episode against Yuzil from Familia Real. He's hitting us with the emotes. I I, re I got this emote today, and I absolutely love it. Uh, it's it's my new favourite emote. Um, I will all if you if you see me, and this will be the emote I'm using for the foreseeable future because this emote is fantastic. Um, but yeah, boys, let me just go for my firecracker here early. I'm really hoping he goes. Okay, he's not going to. Let me go for the mini packet here kind of in a bad situation i go for the knight as well just to take that next mortar shot and um, i kind of didn't do too well here to be honest i definitely could have played that better i don't know what happened i kind of just choked <laughs> and he's just going to be very very annoying let me split goblin gang here or not split just go for it low and i will go in for my skeleton bar a bit too soon it's gonna fall to the that's a shame I kind of wanted to go to the tower, but it didn't. And, you know, it is what it is. I'm really hoping he go for his ability and I can get some mini pack of value here. That will be very, very nice. Doesn't seem like he's going to, so we will just go for mini pack anyway. Just mini pack would have countered both uh, the Little Prince and the Guardian, which would have been very nice for us. But it wasn't to be, so, you know, it's okay. What is that? Okay, let me go Mega Knight on top of this. I don't really know how to defend it other than that. Um, anything else would have took more than one hit, at least Mega Knight only takes the one hit, which is beneficial for now. Let's go Firecracker here. He's just going to go for the Knights. And the Little Prince. Okay, so he'll clean all this up pretty easily, to be fair. Um, okay, so what are we going to do, boys? We can go for our Knights now. He's not really going for the Little Prince ability as much as I would expect. People typically are very, very trigger happy with the Little Prince ability. But not this guy, he's, um, I mean, that, might have, that, was, that was a pretty bad ability from him, to be fair. But he doesn't seem to want to go for it too much. Yeah, this might be a bit of a difficult win for us, boys. Um, but I'm sure we can still pull through. You know, we do have this deck. I'm sure we can still pull something out the bag. Can we defend that no hits taken? We can, nice. Okay, let's go Goblin Gang in the back here. Just because I don't know what else to do right now. And I'll go Knight in front. Oh, that's going to clean that up very, very well. I'll go for my Mega Knight. Keep the Knight up for now. We'll go Skeleton Barrel. 
and then we will go bats here in the center <laughs> such bad timing for us uh, nice okay well, Mega Knight's gonna go tower that's nice let me go for the arrows here okay cool we get some nice nice damage off there and I can possibly oh okay let me go Mega Knight here let me go mini Pekka Okay, cool, cool. We, this this isn't bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Okay, let's keep it up. So we're in a bit of a awkward situation. We need to get this down ASAP. Because this is causing us some issues. Get another hit off. That's annoying. And we choke the win, boys. Okay, and this is the deck that we did use for today's video, boys. Now, this deck, as you can see, is very, very strong. That last game, I really should have won. I kind of choked. Uh, that's just an experience of playing it we'll say but um you guys can definitely especially if you're like if you're good with Mega Knight which I'm not but if you're good with Mega Knight trust me this deck will do you so so well it's very very well rounded has a lot of good areas one thing it lacks is that big spell to finish games out at the end but overall really really strong deck and i would highly recommend giving it a try if you have not but if you did enjoy today's video do be sure to hit that like and that subscribe button boys and i will see you all in the next video peace out